Hey guys, long time no see. It's been forever and I apologize for that, but I've had so much stuff go on in my life and later on I'll do a life update and all that kind of jazz. Uh, long story short, I moved to Georgia. I no longer live in Alabama anymore, um, which is why there's a different background. Um, so yeah, um, I wanted to come back and do something that was like on trend since we're well into fall. I wanted to show you some of my favorite fall lipsticks. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you now that I do kind of follow the trends that happen, you know, like brighter, lighter lipsticks in the summer and spring and then darker, like really, really vampy lips like the one I'm wearing now um, during the fall and winter. So if you don't like really dark lipsticks or you don't like matte lipsticks, because I think just about all the lipsticks I have here are matte, then this probably isn't the video for you. But if you're looking for some newer, darker lipsticks you want to delve into that, I have some that I really think you're going to love. Um, there's only one that's not uh, like drugstore price. So these are all affordable. And yeah, let's get started. So first of all, I want to tell y'all that um, matte lipsticks are really the easiest to wear. I know a lot of people don't like matte lipsticks because they're so drying and you know they feel like you have like saran wrap or like liquid paper on your lips. I get it, I get it. My thing to do is to really lather up on the lip gloss or like lip balm when I'm doing my face makeup. Of course your lips is going to be last so I want to show you the two that I love. The lip balm I love is Nivea A Kiss of Milk and Honey. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I talk about this all the time. This is my holy grail lip balm. I am like at the bottom of it. I need to get another one, but it's my holy grail. I love it. I, I will always have this lip balm. But the other lip balm that I discovered earlier this year or last year that I didn't love at first but I freaking love now and this I actually wear it as an overnight treatment for my lips if my lips have just been through the ringer and I have not been treating them like I'm supposed to I reach for this one this is the Jack Black um, lip balm it is in the black tea and blackberry I got this from Sephora I'm not quite sure where else you can get it from or if they still sell it at Sephora but I know that's where I got mine from and this is an it's an intense therapy lip balm and it has SPF 25 in it it is very intense it feels very heavy on the lips um, but you put it on at night, overnight, sleep in it, you wake up and your lips are extremely, extremely soft. I freaking love it. It is amazing. Um, moisturizing your lips is going to make the matte lipsticks look a lot better um, on your lips. And also exfoliating. I don't have any of my exfoliators right now, but yeah, exfoliating and moisturizing would definitely keep the matte lips looking good and not have them feel so bad on your lips. So now that I got the preliminary things out of the way, I have a container full here. I'm going to go through them quickly, um, do swatches for you. I'm, I'm going to try to do lip swatches. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try to do lip swatches. So um, first let me show you the two Milani ones. Now Milani recently came out with liquid lipstick. Like that is like the rage right now is liquid lipsticks. They came out with some and I picked up a few and these are the two that I've been loving the most. Um, these two colors I have Embrace and I have Crush. Now Embrace this is really pretty berry color. I have swatches of these all on my Instagram. Um, I'll put my Instagram down below so you can follow me. But I have swatches of these on my lips on Instagram. But it's... Embrace is like a really pretty pinky berry color. It is just so pretty. I love this color so much. Also, if my lighting is a little weird. I'm still getting used. I don't know where I'm going to film permanently in this apartment. But, um, yeah, I'm still getting used to the lighting. So, if it's a little off or a little yellow or crazy, I'm sorry. Um, I'm filming at night, so I have to use, like, artificial lighting. The next one is... Uh, crush oh my god this is a lip color that I did not like on myself when I first bought it hated it like I hated this lip color but it's like this really pretty chocolate color but it's like a brownie I mean it's like a reddish chocolate like oh my god I die when I wear this I have to make myself not wear this so much because I love this color you guys like it is so pretty and it looks really good on brown girls like if you are like my skin tone 
Oh, it is beautiful. You should definitely try it out. I know the Milani and More lip creams are hard to find, but I promise if you see a um, display still in like a Walgreens or CVS or something, pick up these two. Like, you will get your life. I promise. So I'm going to stay on the liquid lipstick um, trail. This is the LA Girl Flat Finish uh, Pigment Gloss. And I love dark purple lips, as you can see by what I'm wearing. I'm also going to tell you what I'm wearing on my lips. That's going to be at the end. But this is the color Black Current. And um, this is just a really deep dark purple. If you want a really deep dark purple, they're all out there. But if you want a really deep dark purple, well, this is the one to go for. It is so pretty. Um, again, it is a liquid lipstick. They um, dry matte, but it's really, really dark. But I feel like you can pull it off. If you're going out at night or something, you do like a light eye like I did. Just liner and lashes. And I really feel like you can pull this off. These are a little bit stickier than the other liquid lipsticks I've tried in the past. For some reason, they have a tacky feeling on the lips. So if you haven't tried them yet and you want to try some of these, um, that's the experience that I've had. For some reason, they are kind of tacky on the lips. They don't dry fully like normal liquid lipsticks do but uh yeah i really like this and then a tried and true favorite of mine this is a nyx soft matte lip cream this is copenhagen and it's like a really deep wine berry color um oh i love this color so so much i'm actually pretty much out of it i need to go ahead and get another one because i'm scraping the sides just to try to get a color so that's it right there super pretty it's a really pretty berry wine color um with these liquid lipsticks i suggest that you line your lips first with a coordinating lip pencil i just find that with any liquid lipsticks i use no matter what the brand i've used i've tried a lot i feel like they last a lot longer when you put a lip pencil on before you apply the lip cream i've always found that it works I found that it intensifies the color. I find that it makes it last a lot longer. So um, always get a coordinating lip pencil color to put underneath just to make it last all day. And the last liquid lipstick is actually a newer one to my collection, but I've already fallen in love with it. And this is by ColourPop. ColourPop, I'm sure you guys have heard, they come out with such amazing, uh, they're called the Ultra Matte Lip colors lippies or whatever the ultra matte lip colors so this is the color lex it's like a um ox blood um burgundy color super pretty this is more on the brownie brick red side it's not so so dark a lot of times i lean towards bluer based reds or bluer based lip colors period because i feel like they look better on my skin i don't know i guess the contrast against my red skin looks a lot better to me but this is so pretty that's it right there it's just really really pretty i like how it looks on me it is just oh, i don't know i like dark red vampy looking lips and that definitely does the job so moving on to lipsticks i have three lipsticks um and two of them are by the same brand by milani milani has been killing it in the lip product game lately i swear like they've been coming out with some stuff that i just just take all my money just 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 take it off. So, um, one of the lipsticks I love is Matte Fearless. They release a lot of new matte lipsticks. And so, I'm going to do a big swatch of this. Matte Fearless is just a really pretty, like, dark burgundy color. So, that's the big swatch right there. And it's so pretty. Oh, my God. So, one thing I know about uh, Milani's matte lipsticks is they are a lot creamier than a liquid lipstick would be. So, if you want, like, kind of the matte look, but you you have, like, notoriously dry lips, I suggest you try some of the Milani matte lipsticks. They're really, really nice. They're really, really creamy and smooth. They don't tug on your lips or anything like that. I freaking love this color and that was matte fearless I'm not quite sure if I said the name or not but I'm gonna put everything down below anyway and then kind of out of the spectrum kind of like the oddball 
I wanted to do a nude lip because um, I feel like nude is classic. Nude goes through all four seasons and this is a matte nude that I think looks really good on my skin. So I wanted to throw it in here just because, you know, I do wear this a lot. Um, this is um, Matte Beauty and it is a really pretty like peachy type nude and I love putting this with a chocolate brown liner and just wearing that um, with a neutral eye, a smoky eye, just whatever. It is a really nice peachy, peach, how many times I'm going to say that word? I meant pink, but it's more peachy, orangey uh, color than it is pink, but I just think like it's a really, really nice nude color. And with a brown liner, it looks amazing. Now the last lipstick I have is not drugstore, but I am going to be giving it away. So, um, yeah, it's, and it's limited edition and this is kind of late because I was planning on giving this away maybe last year, but cause I bought two to give away and for some reason it never happened or it could have been this year. I can't remember when this lipstick came out. I don't know. I, I don't know. They have so many collections. So the color I'm wearing on my lips right now, if you were wondering, if you were thinking, um, this is Max Gunner, and it was with the Nasty Gal collection. So this is the color I'm wearing. You can see it on my lips. I don't, I, I'll do a swatch anyway, but it is a really just deep, dark purple. Actually, the this LA Girl Black Current kind of looks like it. So that's the MAC lipstick right there, and that is the LA Girl liquid lipstick so if you don't win this lipstick um, and you want like a color similar go get the LA girl matte lipstick or matte liquid gloss and black current it is really really blue based and it's really really pretty and it kind of reminds me of punk couture um, I have punk couture I love these really blue purples so this is mine right here and this is yours. It still has like the barcode and everything on it. I promise I have not opened it at all. It's just been sitting in my makeup collection because for some reason I haven't, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do this giveaway a long time ago. So why not come back with a giveaway? So all you need to do to enter this giveaway is to um, like this video, please. And also comment down below and tell me what your favorite dark lip is if you are a dark lip lover if you don't wear dark lips tell me which of the favorite ones that I showed here um, that you think that you would like to try um, so yeah it's gonna be really easy it's gonna go for maybe a week and then I'll ship it out next week to you guys so you can start rocking your super super dark lips too so that's it people I'm really happy to be back and sitting in front of the camera and talking to you guys um, I miss this so so much I really am trying to get back into the swing of things and into my routine of filming I hope you enjoyed the pics that I chose for my fall lip pics I am so flustered I'm not used to talking this much um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye